good, everybody? It's been a minute. Look, it's 2024 and I feel like it's been years since I've done a vlog or talked to my YouTube community directly outside of a gaming video. Look, like most people, I try and treat the new year like a symbolic restart. It can be an opportunity to reset, assess previous strategies, to plan for the future, to process the year and to execute. Sound like I'm going to war, but you know what I mean. I feel like every year I start off saying, new year, new me. And like most of y'all too, it be cap. My nigga still cuss. Why she hit his ass? Y'all just be. I'm about to fucking. I'm 31 now and, and being 31 is strange, but being 31 online, let alone growing up on the internet is even weirder. I might be alone in this, but it feels like aging in content creation feels like I'm aging in dog years. Because when I was 21, Lord knows I didn't expect to be in this position a decade later. And while it is a blessed position, there has been a lot of stuff I've had to balance behind the scenes. You know, my family doesn't come from money. My parents did the best with what we had, and a lot of the struggles they faced financially were masked with love, church, and attention. And when attention couldn't be given, a trip to Blockbuster for the latest game rental usually did the trick for me. Think of all the mature, responsible things you could be doing. But get real. You'd rather be playing video games. You can rent them from Blockbuster. Like I was blessed with a cool childhood, but I remember the times when we had to move into my grandma's back house for a season. I remember seeing my mom cry to herself, stressed about how to make ends meet. I remember seeing my dad run his body ragged, never missing a shift at his post office job. And I remember a Christmas where my uncle brought us Happy Meal toys. And my mom made sure I didn't say anything, but I love you, Uncle. Thank you. Decades later, I learned about YouTube and the potential YouTube had to change my life and as a byproduct, my family's lives. And while in college full time, I gained traction that snowballed into some of the most viral moments of my career that I then leveraged into a gaming career that if you really knew me, you'd know how full circle of a journey this has been. When 2020 hit and quarantine forced us all into our homes, there was a shift. And we had just dealt with two deaths in our families, my aunt and my grandpa back to back. My YouTube, it hit new heights because everyone was home online. But since I was living in Texas on my own, I wasn't there to see my family struggling in real time. I had decisions to make and it felt more important than ever to not only protect what I had built, but to continue building because success unshared is failure. So a year later, my family and I started a whole trucking business. A year after that, I signed a lease on a building out here in Austin in hopes of creating an arcade bar, a dream that I've spoken about often on this channel. And what seemed perfect on paper ended up being a naive endeavor full of legal restrictions. If it wasn't the TABC liquor license being difficult to get, it was the zoning change being needed, or it was a noise ordinance being mandated, or a late night hours permit, or some staffing issues, or the fact that they only gave me three fucking parking spots. Long story short, this was not easy. <laughs> then there's building out some bros. Then there's the build out of the ball. All of these endeavors being financial, time, and energy commitments in their own rights. Not to mention, y'all, I've gotten sick with COVID like five times now. Okay, this is not a drill. Somebody need to call, I don't know, that nigga Osmosis Jones, because every dream con, I know not to jump in the crowds. But here my dumb ass go, hugging y'all, kissing babies. Y'all just keep giving me germs every year. And as all this is going on, YouTube had the nerve to shut my channel down over Poop Killer 5. I know at the time I played it off like it was all good and no big deal. <laughs> yes! Did you miss me? That was honestly one of the scariest moments of my life. Not just for me, and not just for y'all, bro, but the fact that I was the one person so far in my family that had the potential to change everything, right? To break these generational curses, as they put it. And I lose it all to a video game dildo. I'm sure you can imagine uh, this will weigh on somebody 
in one way or another. Gaming has always been my saving grace, something that to this day I still turn to for an escape. What? Good job. Welcome back. I've had some gains and some losses over the years, but the gains have been moving my entire family to Austin and to each their own homes, getting them established in places where they can thrive, which in turn will change the generational wealth for all the children to come. This is where I've been mentally. And I know last year I was missed on the channel. Not that I'm like absent with the content, but where it used to feel like home, for me it felt a little bit more like I had weekend custody visitation rights or something. I don't. Oh, hurry up. This fucking freezing. Oh, out what here. is he doing? Yeah, where's your kid? I don't got one. <laughs> you fucking got one, bro. Which is why I'm excited for this year. Look, I moved into a new headquarters that I've been remodeling and finally able to set up an office that I'm extremely excited about. I still love gaming. It's my first true love, honestly. And with or without a YouTube channel, I'll be gaming till my hands don't work anymore. But just like with my personal growth, I need a balance with my content too which is why I'll be moving into podcasting with my two brothers from other mothers that will cover topics that matter to me, allowing my first love to be loved again. I've wanted to speak on the ups and downs of my life for some times, but I've always felt like this gaming channel just wasn't the place. You know, is there even a place for that? Not in fear of like the parasocial bullshit that comes with being a public figure, which also sucks. But what would I look like dumping my issues on the people who come here for an escape from their own shit? You know? You know, I kind of look at my channel like a checkpoint. You come here, you rest, you know, you laugh, you catch a vibe, and you get your ass back out there and do what you gotta do. But to be the provider of only laughs and vibes, knowing what I know about life, what I've been through, what I've seen, and knowing what I want to learn and share about life, it's tough to just act like everything's always funny. A nigga needed balance. I need balance. And for me, bro, 2024, balance will be restored. The speakeasy is an outlet. And I'm excited to bring a new avenue to express myself creatively and freely over there. If you're interested in this journey, please follow me over to the speakeasy channel down in the description below. Subscribe to the Speakeasy channel because we're going to start hitting all over the head with the content hard, bro. And if you just want to see me more here, please stay tuned for more content as well. But as a community, okay, as a family, as the easy gang, I just ask that you please allow me to grace to get to you to figure this life thing out together with y'all. Because there ain't no rule book, bro. We're just taking it day by day. I love y'all, man. Thank you so much for watching this, and I'm gonna see y'all soon, okay? Peace. Oh yeah, I see him now. That is fat, bro. <laughs> right? Right, bro? Dog, you can't be serious, bro. Right. We're in a position to change the generational wealth for generations to come. That's what it means, right? <laughs> oh, let me say it again, bro. Fuck. <laughs> okay, one more time. Hey, cheers, bro. Cheers, my boys. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to drink it, man. Fuck. Holy oh, that shit. pineapple juice is dog shit. I see where you like farts. I see why you retired. Yeah, good try. Smell, Smell that. that. Smell that. He got expired it's pineapple, pineapple bro. Bench, bro. Oh! Yeah, oh! Oh, shit! Oh, 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 yeah, we all boo-booing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we out here, baby.